Prince George's daring new hobby revealed he absolutely loves it. Prince George has done a lot during his young life from accompanying his parents across the globe to hobbies closer to home, including football and playing the guitar. However, during a meeting with Olympic champions Adam Peaty and Tom Dean, George's father, the Prince of Wales, revealed that the young royal has picked up a brand new interest. George loves scuba diving, William explained. He's 11 years old. We took him under thinking he would freak out. He absolutely loves it. It's just introducing him to the world of water. Both William and his wife, the Princess of Wales enjoy getting in the pool, with the heir to the throne having previously captained his university's water polo team. Hello viewers, please remember to subscribe and click on the notifications bell icon, so you will be notified whenever we upload new cookies about the British royal family. When William was appointed patron of the English School's Swimming Association in 2007, he said, Having swum and played water polo throughout my days at school and university, I am well aware of the great benefits and pleasure that can be derived from them. Kate, meanwhile, is a fan of cold water swimming, which has numerous health benefits. During the meeting, William also revealed the reason that he was absent from this year's Olympic Games in Paris. The Royal explained to the athletes, I was so keen to come but I have to say after reading someone's interview about Covid, looking at Adam Peaty, who tested positive during the Games, I decided, because my wife was obviously having chemo, that I didn't want to risk bringing Covid home. Scuba diving isn't the only daring hobby of Prince George and the Royal has reportedly enjoyed a flying lesson towards the end of the summer holidays. The Sun reported that the youngster flew with an instructor as his parents watched from the ground at White Waltham Airfield near Maidenhead, Berkshire, a 20-minute drive from their Windsor home. Flying runs through the blood of the royal family with William training as a search and rescue pilot in 2009. George's great-grandfather, the late Prince Philip, began his flying training in 1952 at White Waltham and received his Royal Air Force wings in 1953. Prince George wants to be like his dad with sweet new venture. Prince George wants to be like his dad with a sweet new venture, royal biographer Angela Levin has claimed. George, the 11-year-old heir to the British throne, has taken his first flying lesson at White Waltham Airfield near Maidenhead. His early start to flying follows the royal family's proud aviation tradition, with George following in the footsteps of his father, grandfather, and great-grandfather in the cockpit. Speaking about the prince's latest hobby, Levin said, he's had flying lessons, he wants to be like his dad. It's the sweetest thing. She added, Prince Philip started flying when he was 31. William and Harry didn't fly until they'd been in the military. Now, little George, I think they're doing something that's really wonderful for him and it'll be really exciting. Levin also acknowledged the potential concerns over thrusting an 11-year-old heir in the air, stating, I'd be terrified if it was my son. It's very nice thing to do because they're similar and you can see that he loves him really hugely. Eyewitnesses at the airfield reported that Prince George thoroughly enjoyed his first flying experience. One onlooker told The Sun, he loved it. It's the right time to start. The royal family has a proud tradition of flying and it looks like George is next in line. Another source at the airfield observed, there were probably 30 or 40 people in the clubhouse. Catherine and William watched George take off but they were relaxed about it. All three of them had been pretty chilled in the clubhouse. As the future king and eventual head of the armed forces, including the Royal Air Force, George's experience doubtless lays a foundation for his future roles. Cameron Walker, GB News Royal Correspondent, predicted yesterday that George and William could conduct engagements together in the future related to aviation. Prince George is 11. There isn't actually any particular age limit on learning to fly, but you can't log your flying hours until you turn 14 years old, and you can't do your test till you're 16, 
and you can't have a private pilot's license until you're 17. But that airfield was actually where Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh, Prince George's great-grandfather, learnt to fly way back in 1952. And of course, there is a long line of males within the royal family, who have learnt to fly. Cameron added, it's certainly something that Prince George appears to have a passion for. But of course, he's still very young indeed. Perhaps we will see him take off with his father or do some work with the RAF. In other news, Princess Kate's secret seaside treat for Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis. We get so used to seeing the royal family during their working engagements that it's hard to believe that away from the royal spotlight, they like to let their hair down and enjoy simple pastimes, just like us. Earlier this month, the Prince and Princess of Wales were seen arriving at King Charles' royal residence in the Scottish Highlands with their children. Historically, the royals retire to Balmoral for the final weeks of the summer holidays to switch off, reconnect with nature, and relax before royal duties resume in September. Before they flocked to Scotland, the Wales family soaked up some seaside air at Anmer Hall, their coastal Norfolk home. It's here that onlookers have said they've seen Kate with Prince George, 11, Princess Charlotte, 9, and Prince Louis, 6, tucking into fish and chips from a local beachside vendor. A holiday homeowner in Norfolk spoke to UK holiday provider, Park Dean Resorts, and revealed they had seen Kate and the children visiting Eric's fish and chip shop in Thornham, Norfolk. They said, I was amazed when I arrived at Eric's in Thornham and spotted Kate, and the kids. We've been regulars at Eric's for a while, so it's fantastic to see the word spreading about how great it is. It is now officially fit for a royal. The Princess of Wales isn't the only royal in the family to indulge in fish and chips from time to time. Queen Camilla previously revealed the popular British takeaway is one of her favorite foods. Freshly cooked fish and chips, wrapped in paper. That smell. You cannot beat proper fish and chips, she told you magazine. According to The Sun, her late Majesty Queen Elizabeth II was also rather partial to fish and chips and sometimes treated herself to dinner from the local chippy when staying at Balmoral. A footman was reportedly sent to pick up her meal from nearby town Ballata. It's no secret that the royal family are sometimes partial to fast food prepared outside of the royal kitchens. Former royal chef Darren, McGrady previously spoke of his horror when the late Princess Diana told him she was taking Prince William and Prince Harry to McDonald's. I remember the princess came into the kitchen one day and said, cancel lunch for the boys I'm taking them out, we're going to McDonald's, Darren told Marie Claire. And I said, oh my god your royal highness, I can do that, I can do burgers. Explained Darren. Thanks for watching, please don't forget to like this video and drop comments, and most importantly don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything.